Yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> what up, Becky? Um, let me just switch accounts here and we'll get started. Um, apparently, I forgot I had to be on your account, actually. So, one sec. Gotta pull that information up. So today we're going to be playing part three of Life is Strange. We already did the first two um, chapters or episodes and they kind of left us on a cliffhanger. So we're going to finish it out or at least do one episode today. I don't know how far I'll get. Um... And then we might do some other games after that. Each episode, I think, is about, I don't know, depending on how you play it, I think it's about two hours, something like that. So we're going to tr at least try to knock out one episode today. Um, let's do it. So just to recap everybody, 
we're playing as a character named Max. And, um... <clears throat> she just found out that she has these powers to be able to stop time and reverse time. So it's given her a bit of a, an opportunity to, I guess, change things around her. And uh, she had a vision at the very beginning of the game where she... Uh, Saw a saw a tor tornado coming towards the town where she lives in, Arcadia, and um, kind of like she's trying to figure out how what her powers have to do with that vision, and um, <clears throat> stuff like that. So we're just gonna hit continue, and it might give us a little recap. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! called film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelma and Louise, you're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> So she was able to reverse what time are you doing here, and save this chick. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route <coughs> from Cape Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Ice cream is pretty decent. It's, I mean, it's not like uh, Bluebell or anything, but it's good. It tastes a little bit, mm, I mean, healthy, but still good. If that makes sense. So for some reason, the on the recap, I had the voices coming out of my left ear. I don't know why. Um, let me see if I can, hopefully that doesn't happen during the game. If not, I can fix some settings. I was having some, uh, trouble with audio earlier. <coughs> but. I forgot she has a rabbit. I wonder if she's been feeding it. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. My mouse is really sensitive again. I need to change that really quick. And also, I still hear the voices like on the left side. Um, let me fix that super quick. <coughs> okay, there we go. Um, gonna adjust. 
check my audio settings real quick before we continue. Hey, Nathaniel. I think whatever we did last time made stuff come out of the left side. Um, what is it that we did last time? Was it this? And then... I mean, that shouldn't matter, but... Yeah, I don't know what your <laughs> setup is. I'll try that. Because I'm getting, like, stuff out of the left ear only. Oh, I mean, that might be out of your sound settings, too, though. It may not be in there, but... Let me do a quick right and left test. Dang it, I wish I would have like troubleshooted this earlier. Let me see. Okay, we should be good. Let's try that now. Who's that cutie in the corner? <laughs> that would be your man, Daniel. Wait, what is what? Hold on a second. Let me make sure that, uh, Okay, it's acting weird. I'm gonna restart, the, reload the game. This is unfortunate. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick restart. <coughs> Hopefully everything works now. Unfortunate. It's amazing that I have my settings set up the exact same way every time and every time there's like something that happens. But we'll try now. So I don't know how much time has passed since the uh, since Kate tried to commit suicide. Cool feet, what up? What up? Welcome to the stream, bud. So um, we're playing a game called Life is Strange. I don't know. Have you heard of it? I don't know if it's on Xbox or console, but uh, it's it basically it's a game about a girl that has powers to reverse time, and she's in this school where she's learning photography, and it's like one of those like privileged kid schools, and uh, a bunch of weird stuff is happening, and there's this um, you meet up with like an old friend, and they're new friend has gone missing Kate. and so you're kind of using your powers to I guess figure everything out you're still trying to figure out your powers and stuff like that and what you can do with them what you can get away with 
how they work. At the beginning of the game, you had a vision that there was like this giant tornado coming. You knew Chloe would be all over this. So. So I better get moving. Kind of weird stuff happening. <clears throat> and my mouse settings are acting up again, so we're just gonna. There we go. Perfect. Um. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Okay. Let's see if there's anything important that I should do. I guess I'll check my computer. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting <coughs> Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Floor lamp. Let's switch this on because it's freaking dark in here. Uh, let's feed my rabbit because, you know. Are you a hungry bunny? Here. We don't want Not him sure dying. Um. Plant. My plant looks healthy. Um, I don't think I'm going to water it. Why isn't my window open? Hmm. Not much else I can do in here. All right. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Kate is a girl that I saved from committing suicide uh, like a few episodes back because she got drugged okay, and someone posted videos Let there be of her like doing sexual stuff with this one guy whose parents own the school and so it's like a bunch of fishy stuff going on but I saved her with my powers um, I was able to stop time and save her from committing suicide oh it's okay man um, let's see what is this I better go meet up with Chloe. Mm, Chloe can wait. Let's see what's going on in here. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. Um. See what Taylor's up to. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will like make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. That is so weird. Yeah, I, I see so. Now I'm down to one. 
You know, actually, let's see if I could change that conversation. So I'm gonna just, I don't know, like, hey, Max, really I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. So I can't believe she tried. Yeah, I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Checking uh, audio settings really, really quick. Because. There we go. That's probably what it was. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. I like how I just walked into oh, some Trevor random chick's room Dana. and started using her computer, and she doesn't bat an eye. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Oh, yeah. I actually did see that. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. What? Come on, what? you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll we'll see you later. Or for the of I mean, but she is sneaking out, though. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party.
Okay, I'm here. All right. <clears throat> awesome. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Um. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Samuel's a janitor. In case you were Nuts wondering. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing here. Nothing but tools. I feel like he's going to be outside as soon as I open the door. Uh, there's that squirrel I fed that one time. Can I... I guess I can't interact with it. Um... What game is this? It's called Life is Strange. Have you heard of it before? Super quick. Um, I'm still having audio issues. I don't know about you guys, but whenever they have dialogue, like I only hear it in my left ear. So just bear with me real quick. Check my settings. Um. Everything seems to be good. Um. I don't know why I don't hear. Do you, Becky, whenever I was having dialogue with the girl, do you, did you hear it like only in one headphone? Or I guess it's, I don't know if it's like a mono signal that I'm sending, but anyway, I'm just going to keep playing. I'm just going to play through it. I ha I'll have to figure it out later. I'll have to figure out what's, what's going on. It's a little bit unfortunate but we'll just keep playing um <clears throat> it was fine maybe it's your headphones i guess so i don't know it's being really really weird right now but um i need a shower i'll be on in a few minutes after that i should probably be settled okay so it's good it, it's weird because I hear like ambient stuff in both ears, but when they talk, it's like only in one ear. But I don't know. I'll, I'll figure I feel it out. so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. Because there was no like real purpose to that. Um, I don't know if there's anything I can do here. Like, the squirrel has a arrow over it, but I don't think I can 
interact with it. Alright, I'm gonna go meet up with Chloe. Let me check my messages real quick. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Um, Warren. Need to rest. Um, okay. I think that's it. Right, let's go meet with Chloe. Principal uh, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Well... How do I distract him? What a day. Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents. I guess I'll have to talk to him. I don't know. Oh, you can't. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus. Here you go. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. I like the idea. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? It's... Wait. Um... Ricardo, what? I feel like it involves that squirrel. Because the squirrel had a... An arrow. Oh, I guess not. Maybe there is something in here I can use? Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh, okay. I see. So I'm supposed to rewind. Let's just... Max the Ninja strikes again. Nice. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. <laughs> hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is gonna save us all. We just <coughs> need to connect the plans. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? And just the, that one and the, and the heat guy. The heat guy was... Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. 
Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Uh, oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. I Chloe, I, I just feel weird about guys, some of my decisions. <laughs> especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson like, in oh, trouble. Yeah, Dude, yeah. do not even torture yeah, yourself yeah, like that. Yeah. Let's focus yeah. on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Like one dude was already jammed and then jammed the other two, and then... Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Jamming three people that round, basically. Yeah, I mean, the, the other guy's jamming from one before, I think, but... Doing... Dead? Having three people jam I'm sorry. Basically. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. So much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Whoa. Selfie. Yeah. Listen, well, you've seen I my entry. That, like, you know what's better than that. I'd be going the big Wouldn't that be the so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest yeah. you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. She is a hoe. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I just, I can see it as like, uh, it's not like a ways necessarily, but it Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Well, this is fun. 
Anything in the principal's office? We're gonna find some real dirt in here. I know it. But before I do, give me uh, one second. Different one, but there's, you know, other yeah, I think it was an office somewhere. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe she just loves making sandwiches. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. That's it. What the fuck? 
The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Crap. Boring. Dead end. Nothing here. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Release the Kraken. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. I hate that formalin smell. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. I never said they were great, troll.
everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. <laughs>